Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Hearthstone patch 24.0 is out today and it is huge. And one of the things coming in this patch is a new event system. So previously Hearthstone events have been legendary quests. So then you get this legendary quest and then you get another one and another one. But now they have changed their event system to also be sort of a mini rewards track. So you gain event experience and event experience unlocks your rewards. And the first event, the first event started right now, it's going to last for two weeks. And in this video, I'm going to take a bit of a look at it, take a look at the rewards and how hard it is to complete. But first, let's take a look at what Blizzard says about the event system. We're introducing a new event system and interface with patch 24.6. Now, instead of just legendary quests, players can complete thematic event quests to earn XP on an event-specific reward track. <laughs> it's a reward track everywhere. Additionally, in-game events will have their own special place in the journal. When an event is live, there will be a seasonal wax seal over the journal. Open the wax seal and you will be directed to a special journal tab for that event, which will show event quests, rewards and duration all in one thematic spot. The first event with this new event system will be the Knights of Hallows End event, which starts with patch 24.6, so it has already started. To kick off that event, the entire Knights of the Frozen Throne expansion will be temporary standard legal and free for all players. Whoa! Now you can relive the first time the Lich King came to Hearthstone as you prepare for his return in December. And the event itself. So okay, this time the event, as you can see from this screen, there are going to be five rewards. There's going to be two Battlegrounds emotes, then there's going to be four packs overall, and then there is going to be a priest portrait. And in order to get all of these rewards, you need to get 1000 event experience. But how much is 1000 event experience? There are three ways to earn event experience. First of all, there is this one-time quest chain. In this case, this is the one-time quest chain. Play three Knights of the Frozen Throne hero cards, play five lifesteal cards, activate the Bellagor of Prince Kelleset, Taldrum of Balinar, receive two legendary minions from Syndragosa's Frozen Champions, and play three Lich King cards received from Arthas or the Lich King. And overall, these are going to give you 560 event XP out of that 1000 you need. So this quest chain is actually really, really important to complete. If you complete that whole quest chain, you will still need 440 XP. There's also going to be a daily quest for the event. You can reroll that daily too, but take note that not all dailies are equal. So there are actually 40 XP dailies and 50 XP dailies. So rerolling can give you less experience. So there's going to be 14 days to complete this event. 440 needed after 560 gained from that one-time quest line means that if you complete your dailies then you easily will complete everything. But if you are not around every day to play the game, what about then? Well, you also get some XP from simply playing the game. So far I have received between 2 and 7 XP per game just from playing Constructed. And so taking all of this into account, 14 days to complete the event. Okay, if you do the quest chain and then you do your dailies for 10 days, 10 days out of 14, and you're golden, you're going to get there. And potentially, it might be possible to do this all in a single day. So if it's like one day or two days before the end, you're viewing this video, maybe you still have time, because doing that one time quest chain, that's 560, adding 50 from your daily, that's 610, you will need another 390. And if you get like two XP per game, then Okay, well, that is going to be a couple of hundred games of Hearthstone, but those would be pretty fast games because it clearly depends on the length of the game. So, yeah, one day from, from early morning to late night might be just enough to squeeze in that 1000 XP. And if you manage to do dailies, then it's all going to get much easier. So, around 10 days out of 14 doing your dailies, completing the main questline and that should be enough to complete this event and get all the rewards thank you for watching click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and a special thanks to all of my patreon supporters youtube members and twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible